assisting in, get, in setting out from a drawing on your AutoCAD, Carlson CAD, uploading it to the data logger on the tablet and into the field. The drawing needs to be saved in AutoCAD 2010 or earlier and all the version to upload to the tablet. Just a quick note as to uploading drawings. If you have a problem with uploading, you may have to go into your job settings and then into your options and go down to allow import DXF DWG options check that you may have to do that so just a quick overview on using using Carlson surf PC on a tablet where we've uploaded a DWG drawing for setting out in the field get back to the beginning so we've opened our job so in this case we've called that green check To upload the drawing, we'll go down world icon. Real time Here's our drawing we've uploaded already, but if we hadn't uploaded it already, we go to file and then import your DWG. We have put our thumb drive in here. So we have the drop down menu for your D drive, which is your thumb drive. In this case, we selected that drawing and uploaded it. So we hit the green check. Well, we'll exit out of here. We already have the drawing. So we can move the drawing around like this. We can zoom in, we can zoom out. We can use stylus or finger with adjusting the settings on the tablet. If you want to select a certain area, you can use this icon. If you want to center the drawing, use that icon. So we have two control points here for, for setting up our orientation. I know the one is here somewhere. There it is there. That's our control point number two. Now to create a coordinate in the coordinate list of the drawing, if I know it's the center of that circle as it's been given to me, and simply go to Kogo, create points, draw locate points, then for the center of that circle, Click on the center snap, click on the circle, you see the little icon in the middle. In this case, we're not worried about elevation. If we're sitting out on a flat concrete pad. So we'll hit the enter button, description. We'll call that control two. The green check giving it its point ID which is number three which is fine we hit the enter button and we're done so if you want to look at that point in your coordinate list file you can go out of here go to your points and there is the point control number two we just save that in the coordinate file Now we will create a coordinate from the second point, which is somewhere down here. There it is. Kogo, create points, 
draw locate points. Send a snap. Elevation we're not worried about. Enter. Description. Control one. Enter. Point ID four, correct. Enter. We can go and look at the points again. There's our control number one. Control number one, control number two. Now we're going to localize our GPS from the coordinates given to us, the reference points. So we'll go to equipment, localization, we'll go to points. There's no points in there, we'll add the points. We already have them in the coordinate list, created from the drawing. Select our control point number two. The green check, the green check again, we'll read from GPS. Now the number of epics we need to take, the number of shots, the average, if we're setting up accurately, we should use about 180 epics. The green check, my pole is just for tilt. So we'll stop averaging and store for this example. We'll hit the green check, overwrite the previous file, yes, we won't reprocess the, the points that are already in the file. Then we need to localize on point two. We go across to the next point, add, that will be control point number one. Green check, green check again, just of a matter of interest if we go back here, add a point, this is checked on for two point rotate. What this does is it uses the first point as your accurate GPS point. Now when you're using a GPS and setting up over two points, you can use the second one like a total station setup and just for giving your direction so that if the distance is not perfect, it doesn't affect the accuracy of the rest of your setting out. So we'll put two point rotate on. So we have localized on these two points and we're ready to survey. You can also set out di directly from the drawing, which we'll show you how to do now. We can stake out directly from the coordinate file or we can stake out from the drawing. From our coordinate file, we're going to survey, stake points, and there we can select our points from what we already have. If we want to set out from the drawing, we can go to the drawing, map view, center it. Now you can select which point you want to set out. Let's say we want to set this point out over here. Middle snap. Go back, the green check. Minimize the screen, and there it's wanting to take us to that point. See, that's our point, that is where we are localized. And there you are, good to go. It will tell you where to set out that point. This can reduce your setting out time by huge amounts by working with small detail off the map. Another thing for setting out on site, there are different ways of setting out. If you go to configure, your stake options and view, 
you have different methods for stakeout, how it displays. We prefer in and out, left and right to reference point, or north, south, east, west. If you're on a job that's the map is set up north, south, east, west, for instance, plumbing, you may find north, south, east, west better. We'll show you why. The green check. Now, if you know your map's running that way, with north at the top, you can face the GPS this way and it'll tell you north that amount of feet or west that amount of feet. You can change, don't forget the way it's displayed as well. If you're working in feet and inches, you can change that in your job settings. I'll show you. File, job settings, system. At the moment it's in decimal feet, we can change that to feet and inches. Green check. Survey, stake points. Now we're viewing it in feet and inches. Shows it the same way, but it will show north 37 feet, north inches, 7 eighths inch. And so you move. For fine setting out of the concrete word, we find in the north south positioning with a bullseye to be very very nice to use. The bullseye makes it simple to move towards the center. So if you know north is towards the top of your drawing, you can hold the GPS in that direction and simply move according to that. Having the tilt on also assists a lot. Go to configure. And your IMU. So you can switch on and off the correct tilted pole. Using the DC compass is if your compass is calibrated, you can test the compass there. That is for if you want to use something we'll show you now. If you use your proximity stake, your view will be different. You will have these big arrows up, up and down, left and right. They're useful in, in certain work, very useful. Your, your view changes. For So far, for concrete setting out work, we have found the bullseye to be better. So we switch the proximity stake off. The other one is UCL for reference object is center line, so we won't be using that now. A very useful tool for checking the distance between two points. As we know, it's called an inverse. So on the map view, we want to check that the, the drawing is scaled correctly. So we know the distance between these two points of the drawing. So we can go to Kogo, inverse. We can select a point. So we'll send a snap. Now we go to our second point. We'll center snap again. And there it shows you the distance between the two points. The direction and distance. 154 feet and 5 sixteenth of an inch. We know that's perfectly correct. So it's scaled correctly. And we can set out from there.